we're trying to find the inverse of this particular function. And this one is written in function notation. So it's g of x is equal to negative x minus 2 divided by 5. And we're trying to find the inverse of that function. Now, this particular one, I'm going to rewrite it, but I'm not going to write it in function notation. So I just replace the g of x with y. y is equal to negative x minus 2 divided by 5. All I did is replace the g of x with the y. Now, the important part here is that we're going to switch this x and y. We're going to switch the two. So let's do that now. x is equal to negative y. Oops. We'll just do the y in a different color. Just so you can see which part I'm changing there. Minus 2 all over 5. Okay, now my goal is to get y all by itself. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to multiply both sides by 5. We'll get rid of that 5 first. 5. Okay, so that's going to give me 5x is equal to negative y minus 2. Okay, so we still want to get our y by itself. We're going to have to move this 2 here to the other side. So I'm going to just take this. I'm going to rewrite it up here. 5x is equal to negative y minus 2. All right, so we're going to add 2 to both sides. 5x plus 2 is equal to negative y. Okay, now the only catch is we still have a negative there, so I'm going to divide by a negative 1. And remember, we divide the entire other side by negative 1. So y is equal to negative 5x minus 2. Okay, so now we found the line that's the inverse of it. Now we just need to write it in function notation. And a lot of times we're used to seeing the variable that we solved for on the left-hand side. So I'm going to rewrite that first. y is equal to negative 5x minus 2. Okay, and if I rewrite that in function notation, that is going to be g negative 1. So that's our inverse, g inverse of x is equal to negative 5x minus 2. And that one there will be our answer.